Hi everybody, my name is Steve Cullen, editor of Total Fly Fishing Magazine, and welcome to the six deadly patterns for the start of the year. You're looking for fishing these flies from, say, March through to June time, and we've got everything really. We've got buzzers, we've got lures for small still waters, we've also got delicate little dry flies and nymphs. Um, but I think the thing that we'll start off with would probably be the candy booby, but this is a, a new version of the candy booby, and it's tied with a little bit of egg yarn and that egg yarn can slow it down even more. You'll see what I mean just shortly, so let's go ahead and look at the materials we're going to use to tie this fly. So, the first fly up here is a, a redhead candy booby. Now the candy booby's been going for some time, and it's, a, and it's a fantastic fly, whether it's the early season or the late season, it works exceptionally well. And it's also a controller fly. Use it in the point with a team of three, to keep those flies, the other patterns, suspended mid-water. In the vise, I've got a short shank special hook. This is a size eight. It fishes in the gauge for international rules. I've got here, it's a bubblegum pink, candy pink, baby pink, call it what you will. It's a washed out, very light pink color. Nearly white almost. The body is a uni mylar, it's pearl. And this is quite thick, this one. We'll run this for the top of the fly, right down to the bottom. Give it a nice even coverage. Now, the thing with this stuff is, when the light catches it, you get a little bit of reflection. Perfect for grabbing the trout's attention. Now, the additional thing with this one, it's little, but it makes a difference. It's this egg yarn. And it's a, a bright orange flame color. That's what this one is, it's flame. Um, and only got to use a few strands of that, but you'll see the difference that it makes to the fly. And finally, we've got booby eyes. Here, we've got medium-sized yellow booby cord. You can, if you want, use white. I prefer yellow on this fly. So let's go ahead and tie. Like I say, we've got the hook and the vise. Now, the reason I like this is it's got quite a distance between the shank and the hook point. So when you've got booby eyes, there's plenty of hook point exposed for the fish to hook themselves. So just come in with some thread drops, lock down on your loose tag end and give yourself about half a centimetre of thread drops. Go over it again, so you've got a nice bed of thread. Stop in the middle and with your booby cord, just shape it. You're looking to get smooth edges so that the fly doesn't spin in the water. You'll see this just now, I'll hold it up to the camera. I'm just trimming it towards my body here. So, nice and smooth, take off the edges. You see there, I've just took off the edges, just around the circumference of the booby cord. And what we'll do is, with the thread under tension, you catch it halfway. Pull down, cut the thread wraps a lot, and just make sure it's even, make sure you're happy. And spin the flies, and come in again, figure of eight wraps, locking everything nice and tight in place. Now, what I should have done here is, and I'll do it when the fly's finished, I'll add a little bit of super glue for extra security. Always add a little bit of super glue, preferably on the bottom of the hook shank, just in there. Now it keeps everything nice and straight, nice, neat and tidy. Okay, run the thread drops down the shank of the hook, stopping somewhere near the barb. And we've got to take a a little touch, maybe an inch of marabou. Spin the ends, snip it so you've got nice and even areas to work with. Come down the hook shank, catching like so. Come with your fingers and pinch it. You can make it longer. This this one I'm going to do is a like an international rule size. Another tip here is you can use super glue or you can use varnish. And what I'm looking to do is just put a little bit, I'll use this very sneaky because I've got my double needle. Just give a little coating there. Now, the reason for that is the mylar will adhere and 
nice and solid. Like so, come right down to the base of the tail, then back up, overlapping turns. A nice, solid, wonderfully pedal fluorescence body. And you can see why that'll work exceptionally well when the light catches it. A couple of looking turns of thread. And snip in. I'll just have a wee look, turn that around, make sure we're happy. And now, we will come in and tie in the wing, <coughs> which we're looking to be the same length as the tail. Just spin your marabou together and it'll adhere to itself. Pull the eyes forward just a touch. One loose thread wrap, one locking thread wrap, nice and tight. Like so. Come in with your scissors. Tag in, snip to it. Like so. Looking nice. Thumb and forefinger, just come in again. Keep the wing, same length as the tail. And now for <clears throat> a little bit of the, the glow bug. Egg yarn. Just strip away a few fibres, you don't want too much of this stuff. It's just like a key trigger, really. Again, push the eyes forward, lock in, one thread wrap, and then dig in tight with the thread. Nice and tight. Come in with the snips. Make sure you're happy that everything's nice and even. Both sides. So you can see there, if I just wet that, that it's in the middle, where it's supposed to be. Now you can just lock down the thread wraps here. What I like to do is just to tidy it up a touch, just take a few loose ends of the marabou, spin a short dubbing rope, and just tidy over that loose end. Come and pull the eyes, get them out of the way, and lock in some straggly little bits of marabou. Looks really nice. Is it looking that side? And finally, not finally, but just to tie off, pull the eyes back, bring the thread forward, and your whip finishing tool, come in, one, two, three, four. One to lock everything, and then a little bit added security. Snip. Now what you want to do is just snip this a little bit short of the length of the wing. Here it is. The red head candy booby. I love the little fly. Great for fishing on a sinking line, pulling through stockies at any time of year, but just now, that's a guaranteed winner. <laughs>